Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about implement 4 by 1 multiplexer using 2 by 1 multiplexer. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about what is multiplexer, what are the applications of multiplexer, what are the block diagram of multiplexer, how to design 2 by 1, 4 by 1, 8 by 1 and 16 by 1 multiplexers. If anybody wants, please refer the videos in my YouTube channel Devela Srinivasara and go to the playlist DLD ORR STLD ORR Digital Electronics course. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about how to implement 4 by 1 multiplexer using lower order multiplexer that is 2 by 1 multiplexer. By observing the given problem here, implement 4 by 1 multiplexer using 2 by 1 multiplexer. In this one, the required multiplexer is 4 by 1 multiplexer and available multiplexer is 2 by 1 multiplexer. So once we are seeing the given problem, first we have to identify the required multiplexer and available multiplexer. So required multiplexer is 4 by 1 multiplexer. Available multiplexer is 2 by 1 multiplexer. After identifying the required and available multiplexer, next step is number of input lines in the required multiplexer. So, this is the required multiplexer. So, the first digit represents the number of input lines. The second digit represents the number of output lines. So, number of input lines in the required multiplexer is 4. Next, number of input lines in the available multiplexer. So, here this is a 2. Next one, number of multiplexers required in the first level. Okay, so the formula is N1 by N2. So, N1 is nothing but number of input lines in the required multiplexer. N2 is nothing but number of input lines in the available multiplexer. So, N1 value is 4 and N2 value is 2. So, 4 by 2 is equal to 2. Okay. So, once we are getting the result, this result can be used in the number of multiplexers required in the second level. Okay. So, whatever the result we are getting, the number of multiplexers in the first level, so that result is divided by number of input lines in the available multiplexer. So, number of input lines in the available multiplexer is 2. So, 2 by 2 is equal to 1. So, whenever we are getting the result 1, we have to stop the procedure. Okay. So, therefore, number of multiplexers required in the first level is 2. Number of multiplexers required in the second level is 1. So, therefore, total 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1, that is a 3. So, total number of 2 by 1 multiplexers required to implement 4 by 1 multiplexer is equal to number of multiplexers required in the first level plus number of multiplexers required in the second level. So, that is equal to, so 2 plus 1, so that is equal to 3. 2 plus 1, that is equal to 3. So, 3 2 by 1 multiplexers are required to implement 4 by 1 multiplexer using 2 by 1 multiplexer. So, first level I am taking 2 2 by 1 multiplexers. So this is 
1 2 by 1 multiplexer next one I am taking two inputs and one output okay this is the number of multiplexers in the first level next we can go for the number of multiplexers in the second level how many number of multiplexers are required in the second level that is one so so these are the two inputs for the second level multiplexer and this is the output okay. now so this is 2 by 1 max this is also 2 by 1 multiplexer this is also 2 by 1 multiplexer so this is i naught i1 i2 i3 and this is the output y okay so so once we are observing this diagram in the first level two two by one multiplexers are there according to this formula in the second level one two by one multiplexer is there total three two by one multiplexers are required to implement four by one multiplexer so in the first level two two by one multiplexers are there so this multiplexer can take two inputs i naught and i1 it produce one output next this multiplexer can take the two inputs and produce one output the inputs are i2 and i3 and the output is this one so whatever the outputs that we are produced from the first level that outputs can be sended as input for the second level in the second level one multiplexer is there so that is two by one multiplexer it can take two inputs and it produce only one output so finally according to the required multiplexer four by one multiplexers so four inputs are there i naught i1 i2 i3 and produce one output that is y so four inputs and one output that is four by one multiplexer next one so from the two inputs we have to produce one output how many number of selection lines are required so generally a multiplexer is in the form of 2 power n into 1 2 power n into 1 okay so in the 2 power n place how many number of input lines are there uh, 2 into 1 so 2 can be written as 2 power 1 into 1 so here in the power n n is nothing but number of selection lines okay so here in the power only one is there so therefore number of selection lines is equal to one for two by one multiplexer so how many number of selection lines are required one selection line okay so for this multiplexer we can require one selection line for this multiplexer we can require one selection line for this multiplexer we can require one selection line so every multiplexer can be written in the form of 2 power n into 1 so here 2 power n is nothing but number of inputs and 1 is nothing but number of outputs in the 2 power n n is nothing but number of selection lines okay for 2 by 1 multiplexer, how many number of selection lines are required? So, 2 by 1 multiplexer can be written in this form, 2 power 1 into 1. In the power 
in the power only one is there therefore n is equal to 1 one selection line is required to select one input among the two inputs okay that input can be sent as the output so therefore for 2 by 1 multiplexer one selection input is required for this one one selection input for this one one selection input for this one one selection input for required multiplexer that is a 4 by 1 multiplexer so 4 by 1 multiplexer is in the form of 2 power 2 into 1 so that is 4 inputs and 1 output in the power n 2 is there therefore n is equal to 2 so therefore total number of selection lines so total number of total number of selection lines selection lines is equal to 2 so therefore to implement 4 by 1 multiplexer how many number of selection lines are required two selection lines are required okay so in the first level one selection line in the second level another selection line the first selection line in the first level the selection line is yes not in the second level multiplexer the selection line is yes one okay now the inputs can be taken as the selection lines that is a yes one yes not and the output of the multiplexer is y okay now yes one yes not or zero zero s one s not or zero zero for example so here s not value is zero s not value is zero zero and here s not value is zero and s1 value is also zero what is the output we are getting so here among the two inputs okay the selection line can select zeroth input because s not is equal to zero that means it can select the first input that input can be sent as the output so that is i not is selected Next one, here in this multiplexer, S0 value is equal to 0, it can select first input. That input can be sent as the output. So that is I2. Okay. Here, S1 value is equal to 0. So among that are two inputs, among that two inputs, it can select only the first input. The first input is I0. The first input is I0, that input can be sent as the output. So S1, S0 value is equal to 0, 0. So then what is the output we are getting? That is I0. I0. Next one, S1, S0 values are 0, 1. 0, 1. So here S0 value is 1. So now S0 value is 1. This is 1, this is 1. Now, S0 value is equal to 1. It can select I1 input. Because S0 value is equal to 1, that means it select I1 input. S0 value is equal to 0, it can select the I0 input. But S0 value is equal to 1, so it represents, it select I1 input, that input can be sent as the output. Next one, here S0 value is equal to 1, it can select I3 input, that input can be sent as the output. Next one, here what is S1 value? S1 value is a 0. So, S1 value 0 means it can select the first input. Here, I1, I3 are the inputs. It can select I1. So, whenever S0 value is equal to 
1 and S1 value is 0, what is the output we are getting? The output is I1. Next case, S1 value is 1 and S0 value is 0. So, S1 value is 1. Now, 1. S0 value is 0. This is 0. This is the third case. 0. Now, S0 value is 0 means it can select the first input that is I0 that can be sent as the output. So, that is I0. Next one, here S0 value is equal to 0, it can select the I2 input. That input can be sent as the output. So, here I0 is one input, I2 is another input. Now, S1 value is equal to 1, that is nothing but it can select the I2 input. That I2 input can be sent as the output. So, whenever S1 value is equal to 1, S0 value is equal to 0. So, what is the output we are getting? That is I2 output. Next, last case, S1 value is 1 and S0 value is also 1. Both are 1 then what is the output we are getting? So here one, here one, here one. Whenever S0 value is equal to 1, it can select I1 input. That input can be sent as the output, I1 input. Next one, here S0 value is equal to 1, it can select the I3 input. So, this is the I1 input and this is the I3 input. So, here S1 value is equal to 1, that means it can select the I3 input. That I3 input can be sent as the output, then we are getting I3 output. So, this is the functional truth table of 4 by 1 multiplexer. Okay. Here, how many number of selection lines are there? Two selection lines, S1 and S0. With the two selection lines, how many number of possible combinations? That is the 2 power 2. That is the four combinations that are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. S1, S0 values are 0, 0, then it can get I0 is the output. S1, S0 values are 0, 1. We are getting the I1 output. S1, S0 values are 1, 0. We are getting the output I2. S1, S0 values are 1, 1. We are getting the output I3. Okay. So, this is the uh, circuit diagram of 4 by 1 multiplexer using 2 by 1 multiplexer. Okay, so this is the procedure we have to follow to implement higher order multiplexer using lower order multiplexer. So this is the implementation of 4 by 1 multiplexer using 2 by 1 multiplexer. Okay, so thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel after subscribing my YouTube channel. So, Divvela Srinivasarao. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. Please refer the previous videos of multiplexers in my YouTube channel for better understanding of future concepts. Thank you. Thank you one and all.